Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. Welcome to Garage Band Q&A, the video series where you, the viewer, get in touch with your Garage Band questions and I do my best to answer them for you. If you have your own Garage Band question or query, leave a comment in the comment section below this video or get in touch via Facebook or on Twitter. Jason got in touch on the website to ask if the effects and loops he's added to his older version of GarageBand will still be available when he updates to the latest version. He also wondered if he was able to open his old projects in the latest version. So I'll assume that Jason is updating from GarageBand version 6.0.5 or what was known as GarageBand 11 back in the day to the current version which is version 10. So first things first, for your plugins or effects that you've added to GarageBand 6.0.5, yes they will work in the latest version of GarageBand as long as they are 64-bit plugins. When Apple updated GarageBand to version 10, they did make it a 64-bit program, which does mean unfortunately 32-bit plugins are no longer compatible. While this was a little bit of an issue at the time. Since then, most manufacturers have updated their plugins to 64-bit or have a 64-bit version of their plugins available. All of your loops will be available in GarageBand 10. If you don't see them in the loop browser once you uh, install and then open it for the first time, you'll need to re-index them. It's really simple, just open the loop browser, click on the drop-down menu at the top marked loops and all the way at the bottom here, you'll see re-index all loops. Click that and you'll be good to go. Finally, yes, you can open all your projects made in GarageBand 6.0.5 in GarageBand version 10.1.3. Just find your project file, uh, control and click or right click if you're using a mouse and choose open with select GarageBand and a duplicate of the project will be created in GarageBand 10's new format. Now from there you can go on to edit and add whatever you want to this new project. Your old existing project in version 6.0.5 will just stay the way it is so you can go back to that if you want to or need to. So there you have it. Thanks Jason for getting in touch with a great question. Remember, if you have your own GarageBand question, leave it in the comments section below this video or get in touch via Facebook or on Twitter. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. I'll see you on the next GarageBand Q&A. Bye for now. <laughs>